Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to supercharge your kids right on toy. This is a Peg Perego razor that my daughter has. This is the factory stock OEM 12 volt battery, 12 amp hour. We're going to replace it with two Dakota lithium 12 volt 7 amp hours. So we'll have a total of 14 amp hours, a little more capacity, but uh, we'll definitely have some better constant voltage. Stick around and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Alright, this is the factory OEM Peg Perego 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery. So in order to reuse this connector, you have to cut these tabs on the side and then this top cap will pull off. Once you pull that off, you can see here's the factory connections on the positive and negative, and this is a circuit breaker. So we can just take this off and reuse this on our new assembly without having to cut off and make this new connector. So what we're going to have to do since we're going from a single battery at 12 volts to two batteries and 12 volts I'm going to have to parallel these two new batteries together. So we will still have 12 volts but I will double the amperage capacity. So I'm going to take an old extension cord that I have and make a wiring harness and tie it into this existing plug. So on the car it will still have this factory Peg Perego connector. Another thing that I'm going to do is I bought a 3 amp Dakota Lithium battery charger, but it just has alligator clips on it. So I'm going to repurpose this factory Peg Perego charger by taking this connector off and splicing it onto this lithium connector. So all we have to do is plug it in and it will charge up both the batteries just like it were a factory connection. Alright, I've got my parallel harness made up here with some butt connectors that I uh, paralleled the two connections in here and then put the heat shrink on and then we got our factory connector on there. So I already balanced these batteries so they're the exact same voltage charging them both up with my power supply so now we should be good to connect the connectors to the batteries and then I'll check the voltage in the harness with my multimeter. There you can see we have our 14.03 volts, so they're still fully charged at their resting voltage. Alright, I've got my connector added onto my lithium charger here, and as you can see they go right together. The charger's actually lit up green because it's taking in voltage from the batteries, showing that they're charged even though it's not plugged in. So we should be good to go. Let's go out to the car and test this thing and then we'll button it up. Alright, I just have them temporarily sat in here, but connectors are plugged in. We have the back end up on a block. We have it in speed number one right now, so let's see how it does. Let's bump it into high speed. And it works. Great. She'll be so excited tomorrow. Alright guys, that was a pretty fun little quick DIY build. For now I just stuck some zip ties on this pack, but in the end I'll probably end up 3D printing some brackets similar to how the original unit was held in. That'll keep it uh, from rattling around inside the little compartment there. I will have to say that I was uh, pretty disappointed with this original OEM battery. I think we barely had this six months and we were always worried that we were going to get stranded on the other side of the neighborhood or something and not be able to make it back. Uh, not to mention I believe these Dakota Lithium batteries have an 11 year warranty on them so they will likely outlive the car. So they're a great little option. As always, check the description down below for any links and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.